Camera and Lightroom offer a whole bunch of masking options that are flat out missing from Photoshop. You can select individual people, not to mention their hair, their eyes, their clothes. But what if you want to take those masks and hand them back to Photoshop? Impossible? I figured out a way and it works so well. All right, so just right in front, I want to start with a, a very complicated image. Right, kind of unnecessarily complicated. You wouldn't, I'm not even sure why you would mask this, but we've got, you know, five hoodlums and this innocent girl up front who's joining their gang or something. I don't know what the story is. Comes to us from Dreamstime, by the way, link in the description, and very complicated background as well. Now, every time I do one of these masking things, there's some, somebody. I think about this point in the video, they think, why is he making it so complicated? Just click on remove background, dude. Just get it over with. And now you're done. You got yourself a mask. What more do you want? Well, I might like some legs over here. For example, I'm picky, maybe. And I don't want this rock in between these two. And then uh, we got more rock action. And, and this is a problem up here. And over here, we got a problem. There's all sorts of, of junk, right? But also the edge are just plain bad. So I'm going to revert this image and I'm going to get rid of the taskbar because we're not going to be needing it. Now, I do want to say up front that you do want to have a little bit of Photoshop experience because we're about to enter some pretty dense territory, but it does work brilliantly. And so, but you do have to follow these instructions if you're working along with me in Photoshop or, you know, you're just taking notes. First of all, you got to convert, this is a flat JPEG image. You got to convert the image to a layer. So I'll just go ahead and call it, you know, the gang. And then I will convert this image to a smart object. However you want to do it, just make sure you do it because we need to be able to apply camera raw filter in multiple steps in at least two different steps in order to get a flavor for how this works. And so go to the filter menu and choose camera raw filter. You could just open an image in camera raw if you want to, but you, you need the interplay between uh, camera raw and Photoshop to make this work. All right, now I'll click on this masking icon over here. And in case you're not familiar with it, I'm gonna, I'm, my Patreon, I'm gonna go in all kinds of detail about what's going on with this, just in case you miss the boat where masking is concerned. But it's it's basically, imagine a, a camera raw and, and Lightroom just happen to have uh, 16 times as many masking options as Photoshop does. And like that in, on, in, in the world where that makes sense. In the in the normal world, it would be the other way around. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going to click subject just to just to select all these people, and we immediately get what we just saw a moment ago, right? With the remove background, except we're seeing it in mass form. And by the way, I want to show that's because normally you're going to see it this way with the color overlay. I don't find that to be very helpful. It's kind of that quick mass thing. I want to see white on black. So we're seeing what's going to be selected white, what's not going to be selected black, and the gray areas are the soft edges in between. And that way we can see what's really going on. So even though it's not a good mask, even though we're missing the legs and we got the rock and it's really the same mask, except for it has much more naturalistic edges. So it's more organic to the image itself. So let's just say we want to start there just to, you know, to get our feet wet so you can, you can see what the opening steps are. All right. So I'm going to basically turn off show overlay. So we're just seeing the image because this is important so you can see what's going on. Now, what you really want to do, what we want to do, I'll turn it back on for a second so I can see. You know, we want to just take this and send it to Photoshop, but that's not an option for some reason. And hopefully it will be one day. It's an obvious oversight. Or we just want to fill the white stuff with white and the black stuff with black. And that would take care of it, right? Well, this is basically the closest you're going to come. Turn on curves. So one of the things that Adobe is so delighted about in the last couple of years is you can apply curves to your masked areas. Isn't that great? Well, yeah, it is because we wouldn't be able to pull this off otherwise. Make this all the way white. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm taking the black point. It's, it's kind of clumsy here, a little clunky that is. I'm taking the black point and I'm moving it up to white so that the entire image, the entire masked area is white. So now I've done half the battle, right? And so the white area is now white. Well, I need to take the black area and make it black. So I take this mask. You don't want to get rid of it or hurt it or anything like that. You want to click on the dot, dot, dot icon right there and choose duplicate and invert mask. Don't just invert it. 
because that'll harm what we've done so far. Duplicate it and invert it. And then it's going to be black and white instead of white and black. But we don't want to be able to see it, right? We just want to be able to work with it. Now we're going to take the white point up here in the top right corner and make it black. So everything that's not mass, that's masked away, is turning black. And so now we got it. Now you may look at this and say, well, that's not quite 100% right, is it? Because we have a little bit of color. Well, it's right in so many ways. It is black and white, it's white on black, right? So it's masking, it's, it's matching the mask is what I'm trying to say ever so ineptly, and it matches the resolution of the image. It's a dead match. It just has a little bit of color wonkiness going on. And guess how much I care? None. Watch this. Click OK, and you now have yourself the mask. And here it is. Now, we don't want this filter mask right here, so right-click on it and get rid of it. Believe me, it'll confuse you if you leave it there. Now you want to switch to the Channels panel. Now, this is where you can see the mask. You can actually see the various pieces of it. Now each one of these channels, red, green, and blue, is going to differ just a little bit in those colorful regions. So where we had the colors, like down near this guy's elbow or wherever we're at, and between the legs, we have a little bit of color. But the color is going to disappear in each and every channel. And then you just got to decide, well, I mean, one of these looks almost like identical to the way the mask looked inside Camera Raw just a moment ago. So just grab one and duplicate it. Just drag it down onto the little plus sign. Blue usually works the best in my experience, but you know I've only really played with a handful of images so far, but this works so well. Anyway, let's just call it, you know, like subject because this is what it was. This is the Camera Raw version of Select Subject. And then just switch back to the RGB image Switch back to layers and turn off camera. Raw. Don't turn off smart filters, turn off the camera off filter. So we get the colorful gang back. And then switch to the channels panel. So we're going back and forth. Press the control key or the command key on a Mac. So see that cursor changes to a pointing finger. So that, we, and you've got that little uh, box right there, the, the marquee. And so without control or command with, and then click, and that loads it as a selection outline, go back to the layers panel and click on the mask icon. Now that did take a lot more steps than just clicking on remove background like an absolute bonehead, but hey, we've got a much better mask. Now, is it perfect? It is not perfect. What if we want to perfect it? What if we want to continue working? Real quick, what I'm showing you right now are just the broad strokes. If you want more, much, much more on the topics of automated masking in Camera Raw and Lightroom, then join my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash deeknow. And, and maybe bring in some other masks that we can create inside Camera Raw. Well, just get rid of that last one, undo, and also deselect the image. So Control or Command D. And then with smart filters on, you want to make sure the eye is on in front of smart filters, but camera raw filters turned off. So just leave it there. You can always come back to that one and apply another one. I know that sounds daft, but this is the best way to go. That way you're totally reset. You still have that mask because you threw it in the channels panel. It'll get saved along with the image. So that's cool. And now you go over your masking options once again. And this is where things get just like, what? Like, Okay, honestly, Camera Raw and Lightroom have the feature you're about to see, but Photoshop doesn't. They can see the people. So I can see this dude over here, the guy on the, on the left-hand side. And notice how, how carefully it follows the bottom of his thigh right there and his foot and his shoe. It does a brilliant job. It actually masks him fairly impeccably. We've just got a little action where her hand on his knee is concerned. But otherwise, look at that. And I could just say, okay, I want to mask this dude. And I can get even, I, get, I don't have to have entire person turned on. I could say, I just want to mask his lips. We'll come to that in a second because it gets so hilarious how much control you have. But everybody's going to have different checkboxes, basically. And some checkboxes are going to be missing. But you could, you could just grab his clothes. Look at that. Wouldn't that be nice if that was a Photoshop feature? Yeah, I know, it would be. Anyway, I'm going to click, I'm going to add a person. And I'm going to make it her. So her next door neighbor right here, it's her. Do you see that? She gets selected and then he kind of gets ignored, by the way. He sees the odd man out. But then she gets selected. So let's add her. I'm just clicking on her to add her. And you could have five or six people. 
and but these two get merged into one uh, two-headed person right here with a bunch of legs and so we'll add them too and now I'd like to click create but you can't until you select a checkbox so you could say hey I want to select all their lips and it's hard to see that all their lips have turned kind of a, a very uh, bright shade of kind of orange not his because he's not part of the group but you know you could grab their teeth you could grab their hair you could grab their clothes you could just say you just want their clothes you have so much control that doesn't look like they oh yeah see when i hover over you can see it gets their clothes but i'm gonna say entire persons uh, plural because i want all of them like that and i'll create this mask right and it'll be a new mask and I'll just call it, you know, people because it's all the people except for this guy right there. But you can see when I hover over it, because I've got this set to white on black, that it's it's doing a great job. And it's not here. Let me let me make sure that we're seeing the show overlay. I'll turn that on. So you can see we don't get the rock. It's not getting selected. We don't get this rock over here. We get more feet. Right, we're still missing some details, but we go back and refine that in Photoshop. But now, what you would do, of course, turn off show overlay so you don't get confused, and then scroll down to good old curves, drag the black point up. So, first, you got to make everything that's selected white. <laughs> he is obviously not part of it. I'm sure there's a way to make him get selected, but I'm not going to worry about him. And then grab this mask, click on a triple dot duplicate and invert mass these are important steps and then with this one now selected which looks inverted right now we want to make that white area black and so we're going to take this white point right here and drag it to the bottom to make it black and so now we have the mask and we don't even have the colorful areas this time around click ok and you actually have that mask that you just made a moment ago. Now go to the channels panel. You want to do that because you do. They could be a little different. Notice red kind of brightened up right in this region right here, and then it gets a little dark. Well, no, it looks the same in green. Does it? No, they all look pretty much the same. Anyway, just grab one of them. Doesn't matter. Whatever's your favorite after you know taking a look, and just say uh, go ahead and duplicate it and call it people. So and and uh, you know spell it totally incredibly wrong if you're an imbecile like me. But hey, I'll go ahead and switch back to the RGB image and now turn off camera raw once again and check it out. Now I have the mask saved so I can come back to them anytime I like. And this one, so this one's not so accurate, but naturalistic organic edges. This one's pretty darn accurate, not perfect. We have some, you know, iffy edges here and there and that one guy's missing. But what if we were to take this mask and Control or Command click on it to load it as a selection and then take this mask. I still have the Control or Command key down and I add the Shift key. Notice we get a plus sign and add it so that we've combined the two masks together now. Switch back to the RGB image, switch back to layers now with that layer selected. Click on the layer mask icon and we end up getting this effect here. Then of course you can refine the mask to your heart's content using the wide variety of options in Photoshop. Was that helpful by the way? If so, subscribe and turn on notifications. I have so much more. And to learn all about the many specialized masking options available in Lightroom and Camera Raw, join me at patreon.com slash deke now. And then go to deke.com and sign up for my newsletter. I'm Deke McClellan. This is Deke Now.